Let's take a look at MadCam and see how to cut this ellip ellipsoid model by using a drive surface. We can use uh, a surface that is part of the model, uh, but in this case we are going to use a router and then it's uh, better to cut the top side first. So I'm going to copy uh, the ell ellipsoid surface and put it on a separate layer. So I select the ellipsoid surface and I copy and then I move this to uh, a new layer and then I can hide the model layer and then I can create plane, move the plane down a bit and then I can trim, trim the drive surface and uh, now we have a uh, drive surface with, uh, with a lot of trim curves and it is possible to use that uh, when uh, creating the planar finishing or the Z level finishing because the trim curves will uh, act like uh, region curves in three axes so but uh, if we keep the trim curves it we will not reach down for the Z level finishing because the Z level finishing is calculated from the drive surface so I will untrim this So I'm untrim all the and now uh, we have uh, our drive surface. The next thing to do is to um, select the model for MadCam and uh, we just select it and then we pick a cutter we can use for this example we can use a ball ball end 6 mm cutter and then we select the drive surface and we pick somewhere on the drive surface and then we have a, an arrow that should point towards the model we can also set some uh, drive surface options and uh, it is possible to set the calculation height above the drive surface and the depth below. We can also limit the angle of the head so if we don't want it to go uh, more than 90 degrees we can set an angle limit here uh, but in this case uh, it will the drive surface will not make it to go more than 90 degrees we do so we don't have to set this limit so we just click OK and then we can select any of the standard functions for roughing Z level planar or pencil tracing so we can start with a planar finishing and we can set the, the angle limit measured from the each point but this is a bit different from three axis because it's measured at each point from the drive surface but uh, we can leave it as it is we can set the contouring option blend connections and then we can click OK and there we have the planar contouring finishing in simultaneous five axis uh, then we can hide that and we can uh, we can follow up with the Z level finishing we 
can set 10 degrees because uh, then it will only machine the steep areas measured from the drive surface and then we can also make a pencil tracing and there we have the pencil tracing tool path we can uh, show the all the tool paths and then we can uh, simulate them together and then we can see the simultaneous planar finishing with contouring and we have the Z level finishing and the pencil tracing we can see that the rapid traverses is uh, also controlled by the drive surface It is also possible to make a roughing tool path from the drive surface, but then the uh, depth is uh, also controlled from the drive surface. So uh, we can show how it works. Pick a flat end 6 mm cutter, and we can use 0.5 mm stock to leave. and then we um, can check the uh, drive surface settings and then we can also use a clipping plane uh, from a drive surface and then we should set the top clipping plane to zero because then it will start from the drive surface and go below in the cavities around the model. So then it's just to choose the roughing. And there we have the roughing tool path. It is also possible to pick uh, the bottom surfaces from uh, these cavities because now the projection is perpendicular from the drive surface, but we can also pick 
uh, a drive surface at the bottom and we can set it to calculate uh, above the drive surface and down to the dr drive surface and then we can make any toolpath strategy here too like a roughing and we can check it out in the simulator and it is also possible to use the uh, curb simultaneous 5 axis curve functions for example we can use the swarf profiling and then we pick uh, on the edge and we choose the surface the cutter should be parallel to and then we can uh, choose if it should be climb or conventional cut and then we can set the top level step down and we can simulate this Thank you very much.